Hello, I'm Mr. Red. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you something much more interesting. Imagine yourself standing before a door. It is a strange yet inviting door. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond this door you will find another world. A world of horror, adventure, and fantasy. A world that goes beyond what you know and what you don't. I bid you welcome. You have just entered the Geek Zone. Have a nice run. Oh, haha. I was able to detour the authorities. And I changed the description that they have. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wow, this place is a mess. Doesn't matter, I'm not going to be here long enough to mount anything. Beta, I want you to go ahead and have some of my stuff shipped over to the lab. And uh, I'll see you there. We'll do. We'll do. Go ahead and engage it. I'm aware of that. You may want to check your head. A little higher. Okay, while Justin has a little freak out session, here is episode 7. The Angry Video Game Nerd, abbreviated as AVGN, occasionally shortened to The Nerd, is the character and title of a series of retro gaming video reviews by James Rolfe, credited James D. Rolfe. The show generally revolves around retro gaming reviews that involve bitter rants against particularly low quality or poor design video games, often associated with movie tie-ins. The series began as a feature on YouTube and later joined Screw Attack Entertainment which would later have three of its features, including the AVGN transferred to game trailers exclusively. The show, formerly known as the Angry Nintendo Nerd, was renamed because the show started reviewing games on other consoles, and also to prevent any trademark issues with Nintendo. The Nerd character is a short-tempered and foul-mouthed video game fanatic. He derives comic appeal from excessive and inventive use of profanity, frequent displays of explicit gestures, and the consumption of beer, particularly Rolling Rock or Youngling. A particular characteristic, which has become somewhat of a trademark of his character, is for him to describe in great detail extremely repulsive and painful acts, and to claim that he would rather endure them than play the game that he was reviewing. Varying amounts of physical comedy are mixed into the verbal abuses. He also claims to suffer from ADD. Rawl first started to do reviews as a child in the late 70s to early 80s, but did not really take off until he made a short review of the NES game Castlevania II Simon's Quest in 2004. Rolf decided to make another video which was supposed to be his last because Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was his most hated game. At the time, he was drinking the beer Rolling Rock, and this became a signature trait of the nerd, and he decided to use it in later videos. The videos were produced and published on Cinemasker.com. In 2006, the videos were put on YouTube under the name Angry Nintendo Nerd. He later changed the name to Angry Video Game Nerd to prevent trademark issues. Now, believe it or not, the nerd has become so popular that somebody actually made a video game of him in the NES style. So, what do you say we dive into it and find out how it is? What were they thinking? Stage 1, Rock and Roll City. Ready, I sure am. Here we go. Let's talk about the controls. The controls in this game suck worse than the movie No Country for Old Men. There is nearly no excuse for how badly the controls are laid out. You have two options. Option one is A makes you go left, D makes you go right, W makes you go up, S makes you go down, 
To shoot forward, you hit H. To shoot upwards, you hit U. And to jump, you hit I. Option two is, the left arrow makes you go left, the right arrow makes you go right, the up arrow makes you go up, the down arrow makes you go down. To shoot forward, you hit the number zero. To shoot upward, you hit the number one. And to jump, you hit the number two. Now, why does this layout suck? It is as awkward as cutting the cheese in a five-star restaurant. The controls never feel fluid or simple. The game is supposed to be a reminiscent of the old NES style, yet the controls do none of that. So the only way to use this game is to download and use the free program known as Joy2Key and set up the controls as follows. Up arrow, go up. Down arrow, go down. Left arrow, go left. Right arrow, go right. Z, shoot forward. X, jump. Up arrow, plus Z, shoot upward. For making it so you nearly have to reprogram the controls, controls get a 2 out of 5. For being usable, yet extremely aggravating. Now let's talk graphics. As you can see, graphics look like a cross between Nintendo and Super Nintendo. It is done in the style of Nintendo, but has the colors and smoothness of the Super. No matter what, the look of this game is sleek and stylish. An obvious 3 out of 5. The pick up and play factor is something that is a debate in my head. As for the game itself, I'd give it a 5 out of 5 for being extremely simple. All you do is run forward and kill anything you see. However, do the controls and having to memorize the awkward pattern, you will die several times before getting it down. With controls in mind, it would be a 2 out of 5. So the best thing to do is average it. And we get a 3 out of 5. Cannons and the zeppelins and the fish. What, what was that? What was that? Replay factor is below average. Why, you ask? Well, for starters, the controls. Now, I know I'm ragging on the controls a lot, but that is because it's a major issue. But putting the controls aside, the game is not very forgiving. If you mess up just once, you're dead. I'll be honest, I have had this game for nearly a year and I have yet to pass level 1. The first level of a game should never be this hard. Given this fact, I often will play it, be reminded how much it aggravates me, and then I don't play it again for about a month or two. So a 2 out of 5. The sound of this game is crisp, clean, and nice to hear. There are no sound effects, just music and the nerd's opinion of the game. Everything sounds nice, but I would have liked some sound effects, so a 4 out of 5. Now let's tally up the score! Controls, 2 out of 5. Graphics, 3 out of 5. Pick up and play factor, 3 out of 5. Replay factor, 2 out of 5. Sound, 4 out of 5. Story, 3 out of 5. Wanna play factor, 1 out of 5. Total, 18 out of 35. Giving Angry Video Game Nerds Angry Video Game for the internet download a 51%. Congrats, Angry Video Game. You get a grade of F-. minus. Now, would I recommend this? That's hard to say. If you're a die-hard Angry Video Game Nerd fan, then yes. If you just want to play a good game, then I would say pass. The maker of this game said that if you emailed him enough, he would make an Angry Video Game Nerds Angry jump Video Game X that would be in the Super Nintendo time. style. Maybe if everybody does, he will make it cannons. and correct the controls issue. Well, enough of this. I'm hungry, so... Later. This is just ridiculous. I can't believe somebody made a game out of me. Like... Like, who the <laughs> was thinking this? Like, what the This is fucking ridiculous, it's dumb, it makes no sense, it's a pig and I don't like it! We now return you to your normal broadcast. Thank you. I don't think you trust in my self-righteous suicide.